Today, everyone, our topic for today is how to write your statement of the problem. Meron na kayong title. Naumpisahan nyo na introduction ninyo. And now, ay gagawin na natin yung inyong statement of the problem o yung tinatawag natin SOP. Ano ba yung statement of the problem? A statement of the problem is used in research, work as a claim that outlines the problem addressed by a study. So, meron ka ng title ngayon, kailangan mong i-outline yung mga dapat mong sagutin sa study mo. A research problem is a specific issue, difficulty, contradiction, or gap in knowledge that you will aim to address in your research at pag-aralan natin yan. When writing your research proposal or introduction, you will have to formulate it as a problem statement and or a research question. Meron ka ng research problem, ngayon kailangan mong gumawa ng mga SOPs para masagot mo yung, mga, yung iyong research problem. Ang research o yung iyong SOP ay magbibigay sa iyo ng direction para ma-reach mo yung goal mo or masagot mo yung yung research problem. Ano ba yung state of, is ano ba ang statement of the problem? Ang statement of the problem or a, or SOP is used in research work as a claim that outlines the problem addressed by a study. The statement of the problem briefly addresses the question, what is the problem that the research will address? A statement of problem need not be long and elaborate. One page is more than enough for a good statement of the problem. How to formulate questions about your topic? Pero bago natin sagutin ito, please don't forget to like, share ninyo, subscribe, and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa aking mga videos. So ngayon, paano ba tayo gumawa ng mga questions about your topic o yung tinatawag ninyong SOP? Of course, your question should be relevant to your topic. Nakafocus dapat yung mga questions mo sa topic mo. In writing your SOP, you have to consider the following. Ano ba ang type ng research mo? Ano yung research design mo? Research problems are of three types. Pwede siyang descriptive, relational, and causal research. When we say descriptive, this pertains to issues which need studying. Kung ang gusto mong pag-aralan ay mga issues, mga trends, no, mga current issues, ang tawag dyan is descriptive. We also have relational. These are research questions which focus on the relationship between two or more factors. Kapag ang study mo aims to know ang, ang relationship ng, ng dalawang variables or factors, ang tawag dyan is relational. And of course, lastly, we have causal research or kung ang problem mo or study mo ay gusto malaman ang cause and effect. We also have to consider the direction of your study in writing your SOP. Another one that we have to consider is your goal. What do you want to accomplish in your study? Pag sanabi nating descriptive research problem, this typically asks the questions, what is? What with underlying purpose to describe a situation, state, or existence of a specific phenomenon. When your study is relational, your research problem should be should suggest a relationship of some sort between two or more variables to be investigated. Ang SOP ay merong dalawang parts. The general problem, 
a general problem restates the general uh, the general problem of your study. Okay, di ba meron kang title? It just restates your title or the general problem of your study. Example, example, your title is employability certificate of technical vocational senior high school students in public schools. The general problem should be the primary purpose of this study was to determine the employability self-efficacy of technical vocational senior high school students in selected public schools in Tarlac. Okay, remember guys, you are now uh, in your proposal. So kapag nagpo-propose tayo, lagi tayong gumamit ng future tense. Example, the primary purpose of the study will is uh, the primary purpose of the study is to determine the employability self-efficacy of technical vocational senior high school students in selected public schools in Tarlac province. Or pwede rin sabihin, this study will try to determine the employability, self-efficacy of technical vocational senior high school students in selected public schools in Tarlac province. Okay? Kasi nagpo-propose ka pa lang. Hindi mo pa nagawa yung study mo. No? So, gagamit tayo dito muna dahil proposal pa lang tayo na future tense. Another part is the specific problems. These are stated as questions. These are researchable questions raised together. These are your who, what, where, why, and how. Depende sa study mo. Example, what is the profile of the respondents in terms of 1.1, age, 1.2, gender, 0.3, grade level? Ano ang data? susulat mo na yung uh, final manuscript mo, gagamit ka na ngayon ng past tense. So that's it guys for today. I hope that uh, meron kayong natutunan ngayon sa ating Research 101. Please subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos. Bye!